So in this problem, just draw the preferred product and then try it first and then I'll explain. Okay, so the first thing is that this alkene will come and attack this bromine. And notice how the double bond, right, it goes completely to the other bromine. So what will happen is it will form a bridge formation, right? So notice how these are both wedges. Um, they can also be both dashes, ju you just have to keep it consistent. Then what will happen is the water, right, is the other reagent was water. So the water will come by and attack this spot. Notice how this spot is a tertiary carbon, right? And this spot is a secondary carbon. So it attacks right here because w when this breaks off, temporarily there will be a carbocation, and a carbocation is more stable on a tertiary than a secondary. So the water will just go there, and the carbocation is just more stable there. So the next thing is that the electrons, right, from this bond from, uh, attached to the bromine will go to the bromine. And then now you'll be left with water, right? Water's hanging off right here. And then notice how since it attacks from above, right? You can do it either way, but since right here it attacks from above, it'll push the entire structure downward. So that's why bromine's down like this. And then oxygen, it's a wedge, so it's um, pointing out. So just make sure that the water, right? The water and the bromine are different. So if this is a wedge, this should be a dash. If this was a dash, this should be a wedge. And also notice that this carbon, right? It, there's a carbon right here. Um, that also got pushed down, so that became a dash. Because when it attacks from above, right, it'll push down everything. And notice how that carbon's also there, so it'll also push that carbon down. And that's why both of these are a dash, and then this one is a wedge. Now, it doesn't stay as an OH+, plus, right? Because that's unstable. Because charges are unstable. So the water will come by once again and steal a hydrogen, right? And so the electrons from the hydrogen will go to the oxygen and then therefore make an alcohol because you have OH. And so the final structure will look like this with this stereochemistry. I hope that helped and thanks for watching.